Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing an Al Claire in your monitor update review two years later. I bought these in your monitors from Al Claire nearly two years ago and I've been using them ever since and I've got some thoughts that I've formulated about them so I want to share them with you. If that's something that you're interested in, stick around. What's up everybody? It's your homegirl Lini. So I just wanted to say hey, what's up? How you doing? How you been? How's your day? How's it going? Come on, Welcome back to my channel. Today is Worship Wednesday and I've got a video for you guys. Get it? Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Lini's got a video for us. Brady wants to say hi too. Brady! There he is. He just wants to say hi. He just wants to be in on the action. Always. Every video. <gasps> Anyways. Nearly two years ago, I bought these in-ear monitors from Al Claire. These are the dual two-driver custom in-ear monitors. Um, they were $299. And I checked on the website today. They are still $299, which is great. That means that they're not inflating their prices. Like, I cannot complain. And I've been using them ever since. I do want to talk with you about observations that I've made, review them with you. Like I said, this is an Al Claire in your monitor update review two years later, or nearly two years later. It's been a year and nine months, but who's counting? <laughs> Anyways, before I get into this update review, I want to talk with you guys a little bit about in your monitors because if you're a musician or a vocalist, then you do know what in your monitors are, what their benefit is. However, if you don't know, then now you will know. In your monitors were invented in the 90s as a way to remedy how loud things are on stage for musicians and singers when they're at a concert when they're performing. And the reason for that is because music on stage is wicked loud. You've got the drummer right behind you. There's no muffling that, honey. There's no muffling that. And you've got all the other musicians, you've got horns, you've got pianos, you've got guitars, and all of the uh, speakers. So there's a lot of sound, plus the sound that's going on into the house. And so there's a lot that's coming at your ears and it gets really, really loud, number one. And it's also very difficult to communicate with one another when it's so loud. So there are a way to remedy that. Another thing is they protect your ears. <gasps> your ears need protection? Yeah, your ears do need protection. Because you only get one set of ears your whole life. And once your hearing is compromised, there's no going back. Like you can't restore your hearing. You know how you can get LASIK surgery to restore your, your vision so that you can see better without needing contacts or glasses? Like you cannot restore your hearing. You can wear hearing aids but that's not restoring your hearing. Once you take them out, you're back to having impaired hearing or you can get a cochlear implant, but you have to have very, 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 very profound hearing loss in order to be a candidate for that. So a musician needs their hearing. If they're losing their hearing, then um, they're losing their career. It's that, it's, it's literally that simple. So in your monitors protects your hearing because you're not exposed to all of these sounds at such a loud level. You can control how loud or not loud it is. And then it also helps to block out the sound. So you should not need it to be super duper wicked loud in your ear. That was really long. So let's just get into the video, okay? These are my four observations. So first I'm gonna talk about the fit and how they're wearing overall. So for me, my fit has been great. I haven't had an issue with the fit, but I do have to say that the fit has everything. Was I clear about that? Everything to do with your molds. So when you get your ear molds done, you go to the audiologist or you go to the Alclair place if you're like in Nashville or whatever, and they do ear molds for you. If the ear molds aren't done properly, you still have earwax in your ear. It's just not a great audiologist who's doing them for you. Then your fit isn't going to be so great because what Alclair does is they make the shell based on your ear mold. So mine fit great, but it's because my audiologist did a good job and Alclair did what they did with what they had, with what I sent them. So if you're having an issue with your fit, I would say get remolded before you fully judge the in-ear monitors. The rest of the wear and tear, um, my cable was clear and now it's greenish bluish, as you can see here. Uh, that's not an issue for me. These things are hidden behind my neck, you know, nice and tight and inside my shirt and in my back pocket so no one sees them. They're discolored because I wear a lot of dark clothing. I wear a lot of black. I wear a lot of denim. So they have just discolored over the years and that's, well, the year and some change. 
And that's an easy fix. If it really does bother you, you can just buy the black cables or choose to get the black cables instead of the clear ones. But I'm not losing sleep over this. It doesn't bother me. Just something that I noted. And the in-ears themselves, like the shell, they're a little bit less shiny and new than they were when I got them. Not as pop out in your face. Um, but that's wear and tear. That's, that's also to be expected. It's nearly two years. So that's the wear and tear. That's how they fit. That's number one. Number two, how do they sound? What's the sound clarity like? So for me, I think they sound great. Um, I can hear myself. I can hear the other vocalists. I can hear the worship leader and I can hear the mix which is awesome. If I ever have an issue with not hearing something clearly, it's most likely one of two reasons. Either the mix needs to be adjusted or my in-ears need to be cleaned out. That's it. Like I have not had any issues with how they perform. They do a really good seal. So the sound, the outside sound is mostly blocked out. I can't say that it's like super 100% sealed. Like some sound does come in. Uh, but if I'm talking with someone and I have my in-ears in, I do usually have to pop one out to like, continue the conversation with them. So they do a really good job at blocking out the sound and I've got no complaints here. They're good to me. They're nice to me. I like the sound. Number three, cleaning them. Cleaning is very easy and necessary. If you're not cleaning your in ear monitors, first of all, that's gross, ill. And second of all, they're not gonna work to their full potential. So you get this cleaning tool and the way that you use it is you're supposed to take the tool and put it in the little holes and kind of scoop out the earwax. Uh, I say scoop out because you don't want to jam it in there and jam in the earwax because then, then you're never going to get it out. You know, you this is expensive equipment and you got to take care of it. So, uh, hello. Um, so you just kind of put it in there, scoop it out, maybe rotate it a little bit. Um, and that's how you get the stuff out. I have alcohol wipes and what I do is I will open up one of these, and I'll just give my, my monitors a quick little rub down, specifically right in, be like right in this little area. I'll show you close up because wax gets in there. It's not gonna affect the way that um, they sound, but it's not cute and it's gross. Get your earwax out of there. So that's what I do. I don't know if that's contraindication, but that's how I get them out. That's how I get the earwax out. That's the upkeep that I do. Nothing crazy, nothing big, just scoop and wipe down. That's it. Well, let's recap real quick. Number one, the fit is good and it all depends on your ear mold. Number two, the sound clarity is good. It's great for vocalists. It's good for live performance. No complaints there. Number three, easy upkeep, but very important and crucial for the performance of your in-ear monitors. And number four, I get to use these all the time. When I first bought them, I used them only for worship and like to like practice at home to like listen for the for my vocals. But now I use them all the time. I use them at the gym. I use them when I'm editing my videos. Obviously, I use them for worship. And yes, I use them when I'm like learning my stuff. But I use them in any situation in which I need to use headphones. That's it. That's my review. So they fit well. They sound well. The upkeep is easy and I use them all the time. Now, if you want more specifics, they're right on the website and then they also have other models that are great for other needs. So this one is great for vocalists, but they have ones that are better for musicians and for musicians that are in big bands and for musicians that play in large venues. So they've got other things going on. If $2.99 is too steep of a price, I'm gonna recommend that you watch this video. Is it this one or this one? Ah! I would recommend that you watch this video by Shannon Ortega. In this video, he reviews five budget in your monitors that are under $50. Well, that are $50 and under. And he does a really good review of each and every one of them. So I would say check him out before you invest in a budget friendly in your monitor so that you're set up for success. And that's it. That's what I have for you guys. I want you to let me know down in the comments below if you've ever tried Alclair in your monitors and what your experience with them is. And then I also want to know if you have any recommendations for other in your monitors because like I said, I've had these for two years, but I'm definitely in the market for other in your monitors. I just don't know what else to look into. So if you got any suggestions, let me know. I'd really appreciate it. Before you leave, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, and comment down below what else you want to see on Worship Wednesday. Bye guys.